been about a month since we've been out to the farm and the grass has not grown a ton we have not bowed our back field yet and the only way we can get to it is to go to the neighbor's house and go through his field so this is the first time we've done that so i'm following emily this will be the first time we first time all year it is middle of june and this is the first time we've mowed this back field which is way too long we shouldn't have let it go that long but schedule was just too busy so we'll go through the that's one thing i do is cut these cedar trees out <laughs> it's good for the paint job so you can see it's died down so we're gonna get this cut found a beech tree in the fence row. I'm leaving it. I'm not cutting that one out. I'll let that sucker grow. So I've cleaned out this area. I can now drive through here. It looked like this before. This is where I'm going to work next. And that's what it looks like now. There is fence. There is like wire fence and barbed wire all in there. I'm going to get the tractor probably and pull that out and dispose of it there's a big something di living under there that tree i don't know what that is but i'm probably going to get rid of it definitely every cedar in this fence row i'm getting rid of i've cut this out where you know it looked like the big branches coming off and then you know all the foliage uh, foliage is way out to the side and it was way out to here well you can see it it was right there so, I mean, the truck barely fit through there. So, I need a, I'm doing everything with a hand little pruning saw because I don't have a chainsaw yet. I would be moving a lot quicker with a chainsaw, but I'm not really in that big of a hurry anyway. And I just haven't bought a chainsaw yet. I'm a little cash poor at the moment. So, I'm <laughs> trying to build some cash back up since we're in the Great Depression, evidently. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the same thing I did over here, over here. I'm just going to clean that cedar tree out. And I'm just piling it up and then I'll bring the wood chipper over and I'll chip it up. I mean, that is a heck of a fence row and it's all, but I mean, you can see that's like, I mean, that's, that's a lot of land that's just wasted from there all the way over to there. I got to rip it all out anyway, cause I'm going to put in electric fencing and that's, I mean, that's 20 feet of land. And that's all the way down this field. Now there are big trees in there too. I mean, I'm obviously not gonna remove those. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna clean out everything below them that's not a good tree. Now, if there's good trees mixed in there, I'm gonna leave them. Like that might be a good tree, I'm not sure. There are no good trees here. There's a big dead tree there. So I will plant, well, I'll let that beech tree grow is what I'll do. I'll clean all this mess out and then I'll let the good trees grow and they'll once they start getting i mean that beech tree had a big vine in it like all that vine right there at the top of that brush pile was in that beech tree just sucking up solar you know if you just get that one tree that's next to it out and get all these cedars out of the way and just let that sucker take off it'll be a big tree quick because it's already set and it's ready to roll and then i'll if i need something there i'll plant it just got to get all this stuff out a weed eater does part of it, but I'll probably use the brush hog for some of this stuff. Just ram it in there and clean out some of that. And then get in there with a chainsaw. I mean, you can see there's cedars all down through there. They're all coming out. Then there's all kind of woods back there. That'll be a winter project. Pulling cedars out is easy. I can do that during the winter. Like you can see big cedars there. It's all coming out. And then we have, so this backfield, and then we have this, there's a strip of field between this and our front field. We're just going to work it. I got my whole life. <laughs> Hello, guy. Got my sunscreen on. So Emily's making her last pass up that way. She's got just a little bit more to do up here, but you can see she's fields look a lot nicer. And then that's my pile of brush. I'm going to come chip that up later today. And we now have a driveway get to our back piece of property through our neighbors. I'm gonna chop all those trees down, but for now I just wanted to get them out of the way. 
I'm going to come back later this afternoon and cut the fence out and try to drag that fence out and maybe clean out the other side of my neighbor's fence row down to that tree. That tree's dead, so I'm going to have to chainsaw that out. I'm going to have to get a chainsaw. These cedars, I just need a chipper and a chainsaw. I've got the chipper. Then it's just a matter of getting the back field totally done for the first time. It looks really nice when it's cut. And I don't know where Emily is. Down here somewhere. So you can see the property slopes pretty good down towards the bottom. She must have... Oh, she's cleaning out the fence row a little more. That's extra credit. She's an animal. Can't get her to stop. So we cleaned off, this is pretty high grass, we cleaned off the front of the tractor, like the radiator and stuff, but you can see how dirty it gets. That'll cause the tractor to overheat. She won't stop. Right. The last strips. Yay! <laughs> she was gonna leave me, but now she's coming back. So Emily's gone. I'm gonna go chip up this stuff. So I've got my chipper. Got my wheelbarrow. It's my last chore for the day. All right. I'm on my third. I'm almost done with the whole pile. Let's do one real quick. Let's see if it gets her done. Smells like Christmas trees. All right, done. My pile's all done. I just made six mulch piles and then I just spread. It's mainly cedar branches. So I basically just spread it back over the bare dirt. So that'll keep hopefully some of the weeds from coming back. Backfield done. Well, except for the entire fence line. <laughs> Based on the progress that I made today, what's that, about 20 feet, maybe? It's going to take a while. <laughs> Time to go home. All right. So I just cleaned the shower. Whoo! I mean, it is nice. <laughs> Look at that, how clean it is. It's freaking sparkling. Nice. Look at them clean walls, baby. It's like brand new. It's like brand new, baby. Oh yeah. You could eat off this. Look, there's my there's my tools. Floor's clean. I tried to rip the carpet up. It ain't coming up. It's glued down. So I scrubbed it a little bit. But look at that. Time to take a shower. I will be wearing my Crocs. <laughs> I don't trust it that much. <laughs>